Hey there, good evening. How's everybody doing? Um, I don't see anybody here yet, but I'm going to get started. I don't want to waste your time um, because I have a lot of happy mail to go through. And um, then I want to show you something fun. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, this is something I won from Lynn at LB Handcrafted. And apparently I won it a couple of months ago. It's a mini card kit. And inside are all these beautiful papers. And I've already had this open. Look at these butterflies. They're gorgeous. This is a Graphic 45 paper. It's got all kinds of cute little ephemera. It seems to be all one theme. Oh, look at this. This is super cool. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Linda. I love that. Little stamp. Little tickets. Oh, cute tickets. And then just a just a few off cut or just a few cuts from the paper. Little placard. Let's see if I can pick up. This is pretty sturdy paper too. Little flower. We've got this. And then we've got this little piece. And this is um let's get artsy creative chaos is the name of it. Graphic 45, 2023. So not that old either. And these are all postcards on the other side. Hey, gals. No, not really. Usually I come on, come on at 5 o'clock Central um, on Thursdays. It, it is 5 o'clock, right? Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, I've been known to get mixed up a time. I love this orange and red. Anyway, there's those papers. Oops, there's one more little piece of ephemera. Can't lose my comma. Need to have commas. Commas in my life. And isn't that pretty washy? I love that. Then um, my friend Suzanne was really thoughtful. She bought this stamp at a show and thought that I would enjoy it. So she stamped me out a few so I could test it out and color them. And so for instance, this one's heat embossed on hammer mill. This one's heat embossed on hammer mill. This one's heat embossed. One of these times I'll color these on a live hammer mill, hammer mill, uh, distress watercolor paper with memento ink and distress watercolor paper me memento ink and they're all the same image and then she sent me a copy of what the uh, the artist rendition of what it should be hi cc are you okay stress fracture oh no um hi jay hi jc hi lisa hi chow hi melissa hi maddie so i've been sitting on these for a while so thoughtful of her. And then this one is from my friend Cordelia. Isn't that sweet? Looks like she colored this little kitty and it's got some patterned paper. Little note inside. Uh, it's a Valentine, apparently. <laughs> and I may have had it for a while and just, I'm, I'm really bad about showing my happy mail. And I know people want to see their stuff. Hey, Carol, um, this is from uh, Michelle in Canada. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that gorgeous paper. With just a little note inside. And then this one is from Delina. She's so fun. She sends out cards for every occasion. Like, I think she sent me a pizza card for National Pizza Day. <laughs> and then this is the St. Patty's wishing me and Mike the luck of the Irish. Super sweet. And then who is this one from? Oh, this is a thank you card from Dawn. Look at that. Look at that paper that she looks like. Looks like it's alcohol inked. It's got all this shiny stuff in it. It's gorgeous. I recognize this die. I think that's a Gina K die with a nice note inside. But <laughs> So a subscriber, her name is Cindy, and I don't know if she wants her last name said on screen, so I'm not going to, um, message me in Facebook and ask me if I wanted a couple of pairs of Tim Holtz scissors that she's not using anymore. And I said, sure, why not? And um, so she sent me <laughs> this huge box of stuff. Hang on. 
see if I can pick it up even. It's, it was actually two boxes and I reduced it down to one box. And I'll show you what all's in the box. But one thing I'm not showing you, because I don't want Mike to see it. Don't look, Mike. Shut the front door. <laughs> These are my favorite, the big cups, because they have the most peanut butter in them. Um, <laughs> so there's those, and hopefully Mike didn't see that. And then in the box, there are these um, Rena K Electropop Neon Enamel transfer sheets. So they work like with Duogel or something like that. And um, let's see, with Deco Full Transfer Gel Duo and enamels, apply Duo and let dry 24 hours before transferring enamel. Okay, that's good to know. So you can't foil them. So they're not foilable, but you can run them through, you know, your, your, um, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't say words. And then. She sent me a whole pack of Brutus Monroe papers. These are the rustic florals. I'm telling you, people are so generous. Um, oh, aren't those pretty? Oh, ooh, yum. I love that, especially with this kind of like Japanese lattice going on in the background. Wow. Oh, love, love, love. Die cutting machine. Thank you. Those were the words I was looking for. <laughs> I love Bruce Monroe papers. I do. So there's those. And I can't get them back in the package right now. And then there's these vintage Christmas papers, which I love. And I will have a lot of fun with next Christmas, especially doing Kendra's card challenge and sheet loads and all that stuff. Hi, Tatiana. Okay. There's more. There's things I've never seen before. This is something from Stampin' Up. And what is it? Shaker frames. Oh, look. Little itty bitty. So they're, they're separated. Cool. And then these things. Glue lines. Let's see what this looks like. Um... Okay, so it's just like an eighth inch line of glue. Oh, nice. That's nice. Cool. And then there's some clear adhesive zots. And I know some of you, I'd, I'd never seen any of these things before. And then there's some more glue dot super strength for tiny beads and rhinestones micro one eighth inch Ooh, those are teeny oh for ribbon that makes sense um they're so small i can't even see them i do see them though those sticky dots cool that's really handy okay and then but wait there's more there's this little pad of these beautiful, like handmade type papers in rainbow colors. Oh, those are so gorgeous. I love this kind of paper. I hoard this kind of paper. And I shouldn't, but I do. Bye, Chow. Okay, I know you got to get Kyle. Um, okay, and then. Distress watercolor card stock. Distress wood grain card stock. More distress watercolor card stock. Extra heavy folded card and envelope set. Okay. Um, 3D dots now on white strips. Adhesive foam strips. Okay. There's more. Um... Sticky thumb black adhesive foam dots. And they come in like a large and medium and a small. Those are cool. So dimensionals. They're pretty tall too. Super generous. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Wait, there's more. Minuscule tiny Chiquitos Zots Bling from Thermoweb. 
when they say minuscule, tiny, eighth inch. Okay, I'm not going to take them out. We saw an eighth inch already. <sighs> yep, happy mail. Nope, this is happy mail. These are gifts. Okay, so here are the scissors that I was expecting. I wasn't even expecting all this, but there's these little ones in their little case and they've got a really sharp tip point and wait and these are or are not these are not serrated and then these little guys which are serrated but they're really still super handy for cutting tiny stuff and then of course the big mama ones i have the black ones and now i have the red ones too all right, let's compare. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Just different color. Cool. It's not like you can have too many scissors. Because, you know, we lose our scissors on our desk. But there's more. She sent me a picket fence watercolor, or a distress picket fence ink and re-inker. Hi, Gloria. She sent me an Arteza water brush. See, I I really appreciate that people do actually listen, you know, when a, when a creator does a video. Because I know that she's seen me struggle with water brushes. And so she sent me a different kind that I haven't tried. And then finally, I hadn't even gotten to the bottom of this. Distress White Heavy Stock. Okay, Yippo. Man, they charge a lot for that. Um, this is another brand of waterproof paper. And then Ranger watercolor paper. So, so the serrated scissors are best for just about anything. Um, I know Betty Penny cuts her ephemera with this giant serrated, but... Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you, what, what would be the purpose of having the serrated edge versus non-serrated edge, except for maybe they stay sharp longer. Don't know. I don't know, but thank you so much, Cindy. That's so sweet of you. So thoughtful and just what a, what a happy surprise. Two boxes sitting at my doorstep. Oh my God. <laughs> what is going on here? All right, let's get this stuff put away and get down to why we're here. So, um, first I want to show you how I finally went through and sorted my scraps. Um, and I have a lot. And I bought these bags on Amazon. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to use them for, but the price was right. So I, um, I sorted my scraps out by color and I've got them in rainbow order pretty much. And I'll show you what I'm doing with them and then we'll do one. Um, let me see here. Let's get out the red. Hi Carol. Yeah, it's like Christmas. So what I'm doing with them is I'm making little master boards in, by color. And I still am keeping inside. So this is one I've started, but I ran out of scraps that, you know, I didn't want it to be all solids. So, and I still have in here the pieces I cut to be, you know, card front size and then regular scraps too. So, um, but I thought I'd make some of these master boards just for the fun of it. Um, and because, like, I can now cut them into die cuts, whatever. Let's just say I want to do um, butter, red butterflies. I can have butterfly here, butterfly here, butterfly here, butterfly here. So all on the same piece of paper. I know. I like the pouches, too, because also... Like they have something you can hang them up on. And so they can all hang on a hook and be out of the way. So there's red. We're going to do pink because I didn't do a pink one yet. Did I do an orange one? Nope. I did yellow. So 
so you could cut these up and just this is four cards basically done add a little extra collage so there's a lot of things you can still do to these with as far as collage goes like take your crowns and um your tempults crowns and go along the edges um you know put other die cuts on whatever whatever oh nice hot rod out there <laughs> And then we've got our green one. Yeah, it's yeah, it's basically Franken paper. And a purple one. Is this is purple or blue. This is purple. And where's my blue? Green, yellow. I don't have these in order, is what the problem is. Blue. And then I have bags for like specialty papers and I have bags for like all my Tim Holtz steampunk stuff, all my farmhouse stuff. There's my blue. You photocopy your um, your papers. That's a good idea. Or your Franken paper. Yeah, it's a great way to make use of them. So let's do a pink one. And you can do these on copy paper if you want to. I have been doing them on this Nina paper that um, I thought was the solar white, but I was completely wrong. And it feels like it's, it's pretty flimsy. So what I do, let me move my happy mail here so I don't make a mess on it. Is I'll take my scraps out. And I start cutting them in smaller pieces until I think I have enough to cover a page or two. So I just sit here with my trimmer and just kind of cut them up. And this is something I made that I never use. So I thought, well, let's make use of it. So like I might cut like that. This one is actually pinks and blues, but I decided to classify it in pinks. Let's make a strip. Let's make a square. I love this. Love this paper. I don't know why. I just do. Let's make a strip of that. Make a long strip. And then everything that I purchased here that you're seeing, I do have linked in the description box. All from Amazon. The pouches, the glue that I'm using. And um, I am using Linaco glue, and that is this. And this bottle is really, really old, as you can see. And I transfer the um, glue into one of these little glue bottles, and you can get them, 50 of them, on Amazon for, like, I don't know, was it $12? I guess it depends where you live, how much it is, but, um, yeah. Yeah heck of a value and they come with the little stoppers that you can put on top but these I get from Gloria Wolf and um, I think this is actually one Chow made me the ones I use from Gloria have beads on them but um, I didn't have any beads on this one or they fell off or I don't know what happened you know life happened um, okay what's different about this glue the price <laughs> so I want to say this was either 12 or $17, but um, it's archival adhesive. It dries clear, and, but it stays flexible. Um, and it's just so much cheaper than other glues. And so in an application like this, I don't want to use up all of my art glitter glue or my barely arts glue because that's way more expensive. Yeah, she makes the mini bead toppers with just the um, just the glue toppers with just a bead on top. This was uh, a foiling experiment with the Tim Holtz um, impress impressor dot impressive die impressive. Um, <laughs> I I was experimenting to see if it, they would foil and they do. So I don't know that I'm going to use that one. Don't think I'll use this one. I think I'm going to go with the happy pinks. Definitely polka dot. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, look at all those polka dots. Oh, yummy. So 
So I'm just kind of cutting them into, I don't know, bite-sized pieces, various sizes. Since this is double-sided, I'll do two of them. Let's do a thin strip. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see here. Let's do some of this. This is actually big enough to be a card front. I'll leave that alone. This is some um, gel printed paper I did. Let's get some of these hearts going on. Because hearts. But instead of like for this type of Franken paper, instead of tearing the paper, I'm cutting it. Um, I don't want the torn look necessarily for this application. I like it for a grungy application, but this is not headed down that street. At least not yet. It could. It could it could turn. It does adhere fast. You're right, Jay. Okay. I think I probably have enough. Let's grab these little roses. Some of these papers here are so old. Um, that's how long I've been collecting these scraps. And again, these are only the ones I had in one tote. Um, let's do a three inch square. All right, let's let's start with that and see where we get. So what I like to do is I like to start on the ends and let me get a um, little mat here so I don't get glue all over my, um, this thing because it's not as easy to clean off. Whatever, drop on the floor, I don't care. <laughs> you ever talk to your stuff like that? I like to start on the perimeter and build in. So, for instance, I'll start by doing the first four corners. And, oops, I have a little. I don't want that. Well, I can cover it. So, um, the linacol glue comes out of these bottles very easily. And I don't recommend. A lot of people make their Franken paper with a glue stick. I don't necessarily recommend it. It's kind of messy. And I'll glue it right to the edge. And then I'll do another corner. Let's do this corner up here. This is going to be one happy piece of paper. So then later, if you want, if and when you want to use it, there's several things you can do to it. Let's just say you want to tone it down. You can give it a coat of gesso to tone it down. Just a thin coat. And then it would make it, bring it more cohesive, depending on, again, the application that you, you're trying to use it for. Hey, Pam. Tiny Pink Hearts, the Paper Studio, Oklahoma City. That must be from Hobby Lobby. I think I remember Hobby Lobby has the Paper Studio. So sometimes you have directional papers and you have to decide whether you're willing for them to switch directions at some point. And also this glue doesn't dry so fast that like arc letter glue dries so fast you don't really even have any time to wiggle. I'm really excited to play with that uh, neon paper. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not even a huge neon fan. It's okay. <laughs> In small doses. All right, let's get, let's get one here. And notice I'm spacing them apart so that I can layer on top. You need to pack your bags. Hello, Elizabeth. Are all your bags are packed and you're ready to go? I'm standing here outside your door. You guys can hum the tune because I'm not allowed to. 
I finally get out of Facebook jail tonight. I don't know how I keep getting thrown in jail. I'm, I mean, it's not like I spam everything. I don't. So I don't know what they're doing. Let's see here. Have I used this stripe yet? I haven't. Okay. <laughs> I can cut it. Yeah, that's that's kind of the plan, Linda. Either either cut it in fourths and make it into cards or um, cut out like birds, butterflies. I wouldn't try to cut something super intricate with it, but, you know, basic shapes. Put this one here. And I need one. down here you, they're jailing me for crimes I've yet to commit yeah so uh, what I did notice was that um, every time I get thrown in Facebook jail I'm posting something about scrapbook.com with their graphics which I have permission to use because I am an affiliate um, but that's the time that they seem to slam me into that jail cell. And I don't know if any of you have ever played Chisel, but that's what it's like. It's like, boom. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's do a solid. Oh, that's dirty. I don't want a dirty one. Now I'll start to build around. You can't. There's no place to complain, Elizabeth. I tried looking for how can I fight this or find out what I'm doing wrong that's going against community standards. And it's not like I'm on everybody's, I'm posting it on my own private Facebook group, nowhere else. So I don't know where they get the nerve, but they do. And in the end, it's a free platform. You have to deal with whatever whatever comes. Hi, Cordelia. Do some more of these polka dots. This is going to be one happy little paper. Do them right here to break these pieces up. And you can always trim them afterwards. Ugh. I got goober on there, so I'll probably glue something on there if that doesn't dry up nicely and behave. Let's see here. Let's do a light polka dot here. I think we'll go that way. Okay, hopefully you guys can see most of this. It, it looks purple when I'm looking at it in my screen, but it's pink. I have tons of black and white ones, and I'm I'm excited to do a black and white one of these <laughs> or two, because you know you can never go wrong because you can always add a pop of color. Oh, bum bum, 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 uh, 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 uh. I got it started. Now what am I gonna do? <laughs> This is a shiny paper. I think it's mm, it's not hammer mill. It's a milko. So I'm looking forward to the weekend. I I'll be live tomorrow morning um, without dawn. Boohoo. Um, we'll be working on that um, button journal. Hopefully get it done so I can do a grungy journal. Because <laughs> that's what I like. Um, now if it, the, your glue leaks over, just grab a paper towel and clean it off. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's get this one right here. And these papers are all different kinds of thicknesses, and I don't mind. Go right there. These have acrylic paint on them because they were done on my gel press. Oh, let's see here. 
need something there. Let's do the hot pink dots. I'm over here gluing where you guys can't see me. I, at some point I stopped buying 12 by 12 pattern paper. Just didn't feel like I was, you know, going to need it. And some of these scraps are big enough to, you know, use for other things. And I can still, like I said, I can cut them right out of here if I need it. Yeah, I was doing the light pink, okay. Or the pink with the white side. Let's see, what else have I cut out here? Got a bald spot right there. No. And yeah. I have bought Graphic 45 paper before. I do like it. Um, I bought the farmhouse one. I love that one. Let's go this way with our stripes. All right. Well, I thought I cut out enough. Yeah, I did. Okay, I want something right here. And you, I mean, you can cut it with scissors if you want to, but I blow at scissors. Um, I can't cut anything straight with scissors. I think I want to go here with this one. But we'll leave that for thinking. Here we go. It's not a technique. It's just a, well, I mean, it could be a technique. It's just... Well, it's called um, that professionally for junk journalers and stuff, it's called a master board. But uh, the fun people call it Franken paper. So, um, and it's often used to make junk journal covers and stuff like that. And you could certainly make journal pages out of these. <laughs> you sure could. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, let's get these roses down. How do I want them? I think I want them right there. So I want something here underneath them. I'll do this hot pink strip. This is almost a fuchsia. It could have gone pink or purple. But I went for pink. And so oftentimes when people make these, they don't cut the paper. They tear it and, and glue it down. But I wanted mine cut. I wanted a cleaner look. Some of these pinks I feel like aren't really pink. This looks like more like an orange. Oh, this one here. Look at that cool one I found. That's from, that is from Not Too Shabby Shop. Oh, maybe I prefer this one. No, I'm going for the bold. <laughs> um, never, there's never any stupid questions. Gaz, ask away. Because I'm also somebody who will tell you, I don't know. Because maybe I don't. Put you right there. I'm kind of wanting this piece to be front and center like a top piece. So I'm trying to fill in up to that point. Oh, this is cute too. This is also not too shabby shot. Actually, it was a Christmas release, I think. OK, 
Okay, we're almost there. What else do I have here in my little pile? Huh. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, Elizabeth, that's the beauty of the ripping kind. And I will do that with my Tim Holtz ones and my steampunky ones and stuff like that. And even like ones that I might want to do that are lean a little more towards the shabby chic. Um, I can't cut the straight with my scissors. That's why I use my chopper. <laughs> Let's go here. Oops, we need to cover that. Okay. I need to do an orange one to have my completed rainbow. And probably a turquoise or tealy one. Like my green one has a mixture of teals and greens. There, that's what I wanted. That's what made me happy. Roses on top. There, there's a sheet ready to go. Um, <clears throat> let's do that about what Linda said. Let's grab the blue. Let's grab the green sheet. Let's cut that bad boy up. Because uh, I can make more. I have plenty of scraps. <laughs> so, <clears throat> cut this down. Five and a half. Four and a quarter. And four and a quarter. So we've got ourselves a card front here. Let's grab one and let's make it into a card. Um, let's see. That's going to call for die cuts on there. Actually, before I even do any die cutting, let me go ahead and make a mess here. I don't want rustic wilderness. said citron will be too light okay it is great for st patty's day oh yeah too i've got the little um i've got the little dies and uh, the little 40 clover dies so i'm just gonna draw a line here and i'm gonna smear it And I can take a little bit of water. Kind of wipe that in. Spread it around. Wipe it off where I don't really want it. And it kind of wipes off, but not too much. Um, I probably need more than this color. Let's try. Let's try the Twisted Citron right here. Use a different finger just to add some interest. And we'll do the twisted citron right here. And let's try the cracked pistachio right here. I haven't even used this one yet, I don't think. 
Just wipe my finger off so I don't get the other colors on there. So what that's going to do is it's going to accentuate your um, your little fold. Something. Oh, I know this isn't sticking onto here because the glue leaked out. So that's one thing you want to be careful of if you're going to be doing, you know, more effects is the glue. All right, let's get... I don't think I have mode lawn. We'll try the rustic wilderness right here. If your crowns are flat like this, just work on the side of it. That's just going to add more dimension. Let's go back with the crack pistachio. Okay. Wipe that down a little. And then let's make some colors. Let's see, where did I put those dyes? I think they're probably still sitting out here somewhere. Uh, where are you guys? Or I put them away. It happens. I put stuff away sometimes. I don't think I put them away. I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> oh, are they in here? No. Hmm. I'm looking. Because so I took them out yesterday for my demo on painting. Still have all my stamps are still sitting out. My embossing folders are sitting out, but I don't see that one. This is the story of my crazy life. Are you under these stamps? No. You guys see it anywhere? Oh boy. All right. I'm going to stand up and walk over here and see if I put it where it's not supposed to be. Nope. It's crazy. I put the other embossing folders away. Why wouldn't I put those away? Here we are. There we go. Okay, and let's see here. Let's cut one out of this. Now, I don't mind them being on pattern paper, but I do want them to be one solid piece. Okay, I'm going to run this through my... Um, this machine over here, <laughs> this black machine that I can't think of the name of. Switch, it's a switch. Yeah, it did, it did cut. It's just a little stuck here. A tiny little spot right there. Mm, no. I like this, but I don't like it on here. Okay, let's get our green scraps out.
this will work. Hey, Carol. And I'm working on the, just getting a little water on the back side here. And we'll run this baby through. Oh, somehow my comments comments got scooted. Let me get them back here. I must have moved my mouse. Sitting there saying hi to Carol. There we go. Hey, cat. <laughs> another let's see is this piece big enough yes it is feeling them on there they need something oh I know I know what to do I'm gonna calm it down with some vellum thing in it okay so let's get let's get some vellum it's getting hot in here y'all had my air conditioner on earlier but it's so noisy to have on during a live hang on maybe I don't think I have a doily that's the right color And now you're looking at the reason we made these doilies. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to need my extra fingers. Where are they? Oh, oops. Made a mess. Sorry. Well, maybe I can do it without tweezers. I don't think so, but I'll try. Oh, I think that works. Hey, Michelle. Okay. Hang on. I gotta. I need to turn on my air here. It's too hot. Dying. Dying. All right. And then I have. Let me see if I can find my Colorado Craft Company stamps. Because I have a St. Patty's Day stamp, waffle flower. You, you guys, I'm sorry, I'm so disorganized. Okay, Colorado Craft Company is not in this bucket. Where are you? Oh. 
here. No. This is why it's a good idea to pre-plan this whole thing. Um, okay. What I need is my dang tweezers so I can pick things up because my fingers don't like to work. No bad words coming out of my mouth tonight. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, we're just going to wing it then. All right. So what I want to do here is I still want to calm down this background a little bit. I was hoping to lift this up with my tweezers. There they are. Um, the doily is actually a die cut um, from probably got it right here. Where are you? You guys probably remember who it's from. It's <laughs> here we go. It is an Eileen Hall. And um, on a live, I don't know, a couple weeks ago on my Friday morning live, we made these doilies um, out of coffee filters. So let's go three and three quarters. Oh, cool. I'm glad you got a call from your son. Three and three quarters by five. I'm going to tack this down right, right smack in the middle here. This one. What the heck? Where'd that come from? <laughs> you won't be able to see it anyway. Okay, let's do, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it with this. See, but I'm lacking a sentiment because can't find it. Let's darken the edges of these. Move that aside for a second. Let's get <sighs> what do I want? I want it pretty dark. I know, I know. Where are you? This way it kind of pulls all the colors together. If you guys haven't tried these mini blenders yet, they're awesome. Let's get that little crack. Yeah. 
darkening them down helps. I know I have a word die that says lucky. Tim Holtz one. One little spot there that didn't quite pull out. So let's get that die so that I can place everything. See what I did? <laughs> I made magnets for each one of these so that I can find them easily. It's so hard to read what it says uh, when it's backwards. At least for me. Okay, so let's think about how I want my word lucky to look. I think I'm going to do a vellum. just do white so let's get out my little machine So at this point, I would reach into my black and white scrap bag and find some white scraps that I can cut that out of. I'm gonna, you know, double triple up on it. I'm always losing. There it is. Hey, Rose. Nice to see you here. Thanks, JC. Okay, here's our vellum lucky. These are kind of delicate. I don't think I'd be able to do this without my tweezers. There's one. Yeah, it's a good font.
that's going to be so fun going to Tampa. I hope you have the best time. Oop, my word's caught in there. That happens. Just spread that thing apart instead of accidentally breaking your gin tender little paper. Okay. So Gaz, you did a class on ink spraying. Are you still there with me? I love spraying. It's my favorite. See why I need tweezers? My old hands just don't like to pick things up anymore. They just are too stiff. For that one little pinching motion. I like the word lucky too because there aren't any tittles for me to lose. Two. I know I have I have some really good ones from Colorado Craft Company that I've had forever. I just don't know which bin I put my CCC in. So for these, I'm going to actually, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and use this glue. And let's go ahead and just put the glue down because it's in this bottle. Then I'll still have a little bit of wiggle room. this one. I'm making a hot mess what I'm doing. Okay. Pick them all up and then get them start straightening them out with my tweezers. When it starts getting hot summertime in here, you guys will probably be seeing a lot more of my cat beat because I like to keep the door open between this room and my bedroom so that the air conditioning can flow through. See, there's still time with this glue to get them straightened out if you mess them up. And I don't have to be perfect, but we do want them kind of nice. Oh, you booked a red eye, Pam. Oh, you did a live list on the whole oxide range. Cool, Gaz. I may have seen that pop up, but I may have been in the middle of something else. I notice. Are you um, are you on the visible image design team? I noticed that I got an email from Mark this morning saying that they're carrying Tim Holt stuff now. I'm just gonna hold this here for a second. You slid on me a little bit, but I'm not mad. Okay, now we can start arranging everything. Now my vellum's trying to turn up, so I think what I'll do is I'll get some of those teeny tiny dots. Let's see. Let's see if it shows up under here or not. They're so hard to see. <laughs> Put a little 
little booger right there. No, they don't really show. Not too bad. That one shows. It shows on a dark color, but doesn't really show in a light color. Okay. You're going to show up like that. Then I'm going to move you to over here. There we go. Okay, that's better. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. I don't know if it me to think. That's why. I just don't want my vellum folding up on me like that. Oh, I just stick into my finger. There. It's better. That's a little better. Move you guys here a minute. These are cool. Huh. All right. Before I put anything else on here, I need to get this glued down to a card base. And I think what I'll do is trim it a little bit. And yes, I realize I'll be trimming off a little bit of my doily, and that's okay. Try and move it a little bit. That'll get stuck down better once I put down all my elements here. Let's grab a green card base. I don't know. I think we'll do this on a white card base. I'll do that on white. Move that to the card base. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> That's handmade out of coffee filters. If you ever have nothing to do. I have a Friday morning coffee, Friday mornings at 9 o'clock central, where I do more junk journaling stuff. And um, I think not last Friday, because I didn't go live last Friday, but the Friday before, I think is the one where I show how to make these out of coffee filters with a dye or with dyes. So you'll see I have several of them because you, you can make five at a time. And these are sprayed with distress sprays. They are coated with um, like Lindy's Magicals, um, any, any kind of wet medium. I'm going to put them away before I lose them everywhere. And yeah. So and the dye that I use for that is this Eileen Hull, and it's called Mandala. So I love it. Thank you. All right. Now, back to composing our lucky little image here. Deciding how I want these to lay. How do I want my sentiment? Okay, I'm having trouble. Brain does not want to. Nope, don't like it like that. Let's go well, maybe up higher with you. Maybe a little lower here. Right there. Right here. Right there. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you guys, this, these are the struggles are real. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm almost treating these clovers like you would sequins. trying to get them sort of in a triangle-ish formation. Yeah. 
Okay, so what I need is I need, let's get some of these dot things that she sent me. No, no, I'm going to use these. Because see, these have dimension in them, so you need something that will kind of hold them in place at the center. That's going to do the job. Yeah, I do too. Just, just composing the whole thing. And, you know, making it so it's not, at least in my mind, too chaotic. Okay, so this... I already showed you guys how to pop these up, right? By cutting more of these and gluing them to the back. You can pop it up. Because I need a way for this to stick on here. Without. I'm thinking. Let me think. Oh, you crochet doilies? Oh my goodness. My grandmother used to. Oh, I have. She used to tat them. I still have her shuttlecock for tatting and her little box that she kept it in, little leather box with her initials. And just say she was born in the 1900, 19 aughts. <laughs> I'm thinking here, just give me a second on how I want to handle this. I might just have to glue it straight down. Yep. Okay. I need to glue here, here, and here. That's what I'm going to do. I already forgot where I was gluing. Hold it down for a second. Okay. So what we did, I didn't get that trimmed evenly after I put the vellum on. I will go crazy over something like that. What we did, let me just grab some bling here. We, we can't have this without bling. What time is it? Okay, I'm running a little late. Sorry about that. It was the happy mail. You're welcome, Pam. I hope you have a safe flight. Think about us. Although it's going to be warm and stormy here tomorrow. <coughs> I don't know what you'll see in Florida. will help our doily stay down. Make sure this one's flipped over the right way. Okay, I want two more.
yeah, that balances it out. Did I already glue that one down? I guess I did. Balances it out and adds more stability to this very fine coffee filter doily. All right, there we go. So what we did, we made some Franken paper. We used the pink out of our scraps and cut that into quarters of my green one. Because this one, I you want to let these dry with the line coat glue. You want to make sure that they're nice and dry. Um, and then cut them down to card front sizes and made a little St. Patty's Day card. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming. And um, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. All the things that you say if you're a YouTuber. Have a good night. <laughs> Take care. Bye.